welcome to Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, February 19th, 2020, episode 197. This is a show where we talk about three things and then at the end I give you a prize. How awesome is that? We'll be here for about 15, 20 minutes. My name is Cindy Simmons and I am the host of Coffee Combo Wednesday. So all I ask is that you grab whatever you're drinking right now. I am having a little coffee with some vanilla creamer. Grab coffee, tea, uh, I don't know, Arnold Palmer, whatever you're drinking right now, a smoothie, and comment below and share what you are drinking at this very moment, and I will give you a big fat cheers. It's uh, a big, look, I mean, look how ginormous this cup is. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually working, but it says this coffee is making me awesome. <laughs> so hopefully that will do the trick. I don't know. I'm going to drink out of the cup. That will make me awesome. And then maybe I will be awesome by the end of the show. Who knows? Okay. So comment below. Let me know what you're drinking right now. Let's get started. I had to put that down. It was so heavy. <laughs> First, I want to say congratulations to Victoria from Virginia. She won last week's Coffee Combo Wednesday Target gift card. So Virginia, you are Virginia. Victoria from Virginia. <laughs> Victoria from Virginia, you are the winner of the Target gift card from last week. Congratulations. All right, a little bit about me. I am originally from Los Angeles, California. I need two hands. Born and raised. I lived in Nashville, Atlanta, Georgia, and now our family of five is here in Orlando, Florida. It's me, my husband, who puts logos on stuff. He owns a promotional products company. You can find him at mysmartshirt.com. Ching, ching. Little plug for my hubster. <laughs> we have two daughters, 14 and 7, and then my mama, Jane, a four-time cancer survivor who lives with us as well. She's basically a rock star. So let's get started today. I feel like I can't get enough coffee today. Um, I am actually sidebar for just one quick second because, you know, we like to stay on topic here. Not really. I am doing a little fashion show for this local boutique here, Shushu Baby. Um, it's here in Winter Garden where we live, which is where all of my shirts are from every single week. And it's just for um, a couple of boutiques there, a little, a little private event. And myself and my bestie, one of my besties actually, are doing it together. I'm kind of nervous, if I'm just being real, which I always try to be. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm gonna take some pictures, maybe some video, but if y'all ever watched Sex in the City and you saw that episode with Kara Bradshaw when she fell, like, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> and the fact that I'm in a fashion show already is really just kind of ridiculous, but nonetheless, I'm all about living life, so I am going to try and do it. I was just realizing you can um, see my port scar. I am a breast cancer survivor as well, and it's funny, I think that like I don't ever wear blouses like this, um, and I'm just thinking how it kind of shows off my port scar. And I'm not embarrassed about my port scar, because I am here and alive, so cheers to that, right? It takes me like 27 minutes to take a sip because it's such a big cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, let's start with topic number one, step away from the strawberries. I have to tell you what happened and then I need to know, I need to know um, if this has happened to you. And maybe I have some pent up frustration or anger or I'm hormonal right now, but usually for lunch every day, five days a week at least, Monday through Friday, I have a protein smoothie for lunch. It's just kind of like my thing, it's what I do. and. I get a bag of fruit from Aldi, which is where we shop. No, they're not sponsoring this, but that's just where we shop. We shop at Aldi, we get like a bag of mixed fruit. Well, my husband has been buying this mix that has strawberries and cherries and blueberries and raspberries in it. Well, the teenager has decided she would like to partake in making smoothies for breakfast. I usually have mine for lunch. She makes hers for breakfast. So. What she's been doing though, is digging out the strawberries out of the bag because she prefers the strawberries over everything else. But I didn't know that she had been doing this. And I literally 
snapped because this is me. I go to get into the bag to put my stuff in. I'm like, where are all the strawberries? There's no strawberries. When I say no, there are no strawberries in this bag. It's all cherries and I don't know, whatever. The inferior fruit to me. I love strawberries. So maybe I should just buy the all strawberry bag, but I like to mix it up. Get other antioxidants in the blueberries, or blackberries, raspberries, cherries. Uh, oh my goodness. I came down. So I had taken a week break off of the smoothies because I just wasn't in the mood. So I go on, uh, I think it was Monday of this week, I go to make my smoothie and there are no strawberries in the bag. And I'm like, Lily J! Because, you know, when you're irritated, if you're a mom, you know that, and if you're not a mom, then you know your mom did the same thing to you. It's your first middle and sometimes last name. <laughs> so she got the first and middle. She comes down, yes, mom? Where are all the strawberries? Oh, um, I ate them. Excuse me? I ate them. You are no longer allowed to have a smoothie ever again. I, I lost my mind. I'm not even kidding. I wish, <laughs> I wish I, actually I'm embarrassed. I wish I were making this up. I, I'm not. I really lost my mind, like crazy lost my mind. I was so mad. You know when you're just looking so forward to something and then when you go to have it, it's not there? For example, my husband learned this lesson, I don't know, like almost 10 years ago when I went to lunch somewhere, I guess, and I got a buffalo, no, it was a barbecue chicken pizza. And I was working a morning show, morning radio in Atlanta at the time. And all I thought, it was the night before, and all I thought about was when I got home from work, I was going to eat the leftover barbecue chicken pizza because there wasn't anything else. It was just barbecue chicken pizza. And I thought about it all morning, all morning. And when you do a morning radio show, you're up very early. And I forgot to bring it with me, but I knew I was going home after work. I was so excited to eat this barbecue chicken pizza and it was gone, gone, and eat the whole thing. Not even just a piece. Eat the whole thing, the whole thing. Oh, I lost my mind, lost my mind, lost my mind. Kinda like I just lost my mind with the uh, strawberries. After that, he learned to ask me before he eats something that is left over in the fridge that is mine. My bestie just told me the story the other day that it's the same with her husband. Her husband works from home a lot, so like he has to, hey, is this okay to eat? What, <laughs> what is that about? Like, I don't know, I, I mean, it's so silly to get that angry over food. Clearly I must have anger management issues. <laughs> but I was so mad, I was mad about the strawberries and I was mad about the pizza and maybe if I'm being truthful, it was a little crabby the other day, so maybe that was more about something else than it was the strawberries. But y'all, I was mad. I was mad. Don't eat my strawberries. So then I had an inferior smoothie because all I put in my smoothie is like this vanilla protein powder, a whole bunch of kale, because that's the only way I can get vegetables because I'm not a big veggie person, and then a whole bunch of fruit. That's pretty much all I put in, and some water. Like I don't even put, I don't put anything else in. So it has to be good. And I didn't want a cherry flavored smoothie. I wanted a strawberry flavored smoothie. I am ridiculous, ridiculous. Takes 12 minutes. Okay, comment below, let me know. I, I see that you're weighing in and I so appreciate that because I need to know that I am not a lunatic. Actually, I know that I'm a lunatic, but I need to know that I'm not the only lunatic doing that, so yeah. Topic number two on Coffee Combo Wednesday is silly and kind of embarrassing to admit, but because as I say to you on this show, I always want to keep it real. And because I know all of you have done this before, I'm just going to talk about it. Embarrassing as it is. So last night, I clogged the toilet. It, it happens to my daughters because they share a bathroom and then my husband and I have a bathroom. I, I clogged the toilet and not that I wouldn't admit it, but it was not because of that. It was just toilet paper. 
just the way our toilets are here in our house, I guess. And so I went to bed last night. My husband and I went to bed, <laughs> went to bed at the same time. And I roll over and I'm like, um, I love you so much the toilet's clogged in the bathroom. <laughs> and he's like, excuse me? What? He goes, what did you just say? I was like, oh, I love you so much. Good night. Oh, the toilet's clogged in the bathroom. Now, when the toilet gets clogged in the girl's room, it's usually the teenager because she puts, I don't know, like 27 rolls of toilet paper into the toilet with every use of the toilet. Like, it's a lot of toilet paper. But I know that, I know better than that. It's not Seinfeld, spare square, like, like, you know, there's a couple squares you use. I don't need to use a ridiculous amount of toilet paper, but nonetheless, I clog the toilet. However, I sort of feel that in, in our marriage, and I don't know if it's with anyone else if you're married, in our marriage, we kind of know our roles, and that's just not my role. Not because I can't do it, because I don't want to do it. It's like laundry. I don't want to do laundry, but I do it, but my husband does not. That's not his role. My role is laundry, like cooking. He likes to cook. Can I cook? Yeah, sure, I can cook some things, but I don't enjoy it. He likes to cook, so that's his role. Once in a while, I cook boil water or something <laughs> but I do the laundry he cooks now when it comes to spiders and clogged toilets that's not my role it's his we kind of have that unspoken agreement it would be like if I just said eh, you go do the laundry now is he capable of doing the laundry absolutely does he want to do the laundry absolutely not so I do the laundry all of our laundry except the teenagers because now she does her own laundry because that's a parenting win right there. So he kind of was like, oh. Now, if I left it there for a couple of days, would he do it? Sure, would it take a couple of days? No, it'd probably take a day. However, you know what I did today? I unclogged the toilet. Boom! I unclogged the toilet. Why? Because I can. But is it my role? No, it's not. But I unclogged it just to show him that when he comes home from work and he notices that said closet, clogged toilet is not clogged anymore, it's because of me. Because boom, I'm awesome like that. So I don't know if the coffee is making me awesome, but an unclogged toilet is making me awesome today. So there you go. If you are married, tell me what your role is. What is your role and what is his role? Or what is your role and what is her role? What is your role? Do you know your role? Do you guys have your own, your own roles? Like this is, you know, like sometimes he says to me, you're the inside, I'm the outside. Minus the clogged toilets and spiders. Because like I decorate and get everything organized and cleaned and bleh, all that. And I organize our social schedule and then he knows his stuff. The cooking, the outside, unclogging of toilets and bug squishing. Or if there's a frog in the house. Because since we've been in Florida, there has been lizards in our house and there has been frogs there have been frogs in our house i don't do those i don't do i don't do lizards and i don't do frogs either no thank you florida you can keep those okay and finally i'm kind of excited to tell you about what we are doing this week our family as in all of us minus mama jane she's sending this one out we are doing the run disney princess half marathon weekend 5k no we're not doing the half marathon if you have been a part of coffee combo wednesday for years you know that exactly two years ago i did sign up and complete the princess half marathon why because i'm a crazy person no i decided that i wanted to run a half marathon i put it on my bucket list and i was like okay and then i started running for clarification, I don't run. Like, I don't like to run. I don't enjoy it. I trained for almost a year in Atlanta before we moved and here in Orlando, and I did not enjoy it at all. I don't, no, I never got that runner's high. And if you are a runner person, I am happy for you because I am just not that person. Now, since I did the half marathon, oh, and the best part I didn't mention in case you weren't around two years ago when we were doing the show, I sprained my ankle on the way to the porta potty the morning of the half marathon. I did it with three of my besties, and we all were dressed as Mouseketeers because I just didn't feel like doing a princess thing. So they said, Yeah, we'll run with you because they're all those runner people. You can pick out the outfits. I'm like, Yes. So we did the old school Mouseketeer outfits. 
I sprained my ankle on the way to the porta potty. I didn't know it was sprained. I just knew something was wrong, <laughs> like very wrong. So I ran and then I walked and I cried, I cried, cried, cried. I cried a lot during that half marathon. And then I stopped, they looked at it, they said, yes, in fact, it is a sprain. You can leave and you know, it's okay. I'm like, no, because I thought, see if you agree with me, saying you ran a half marathon is already awesome enough. I think if you've done that, good for you. If you've run a whole marathon, good for you. But I thought, uh-uh, saying you ran a half marathon on a sprained ankle, boom, sounded way better than that. So I kept running. I kept running and I did ask my friends, probably cry, percentage it out, <laughs> 60 to 75% of the time, because it hurt. And then we were moving into this house like three days later, so I had to move on a sprained ankle. But I finished that half marathon by the grace of God. I'm telling you, I prayed the whole time. I was like, please just let me finish this because there's a much better story. Because <laughs> it is a much better story. So after that, my, my teenager and I, we did do the Star Wars Rival Run Week and we did a 10K, which was pretty awesome. And it was like a run walk situation. But now we partnered with Go Go Squeeze and so Go Go Squeeze is sending our family of four to do the 5K. So if you are coming into town, if you already live here and you're going to be a part of the Run Disney Princess Half Marathon weekend, we are gonna be there on Friday morning doing the 5K and then Saturday afternoon, my little one who is seven, she is doing the one mile kids, kids race, which is brought to you by Go Go Squeeze. They are the official applesauce of Walt Disney World, she's running it by herself. And you know why she is so excited to do this? Because she gets two, two, count them, two medals. So she thinks that is the greatest thing. So we are going to stay at a Walt Disney World Resort. I'm very excited about that. So we are gonna be there Thursday and Friday. The race that we're doing is Friday morning. The race that she's doing is Saturday afternoon. So I would love for you to follow along. I'm gonna be on Instagram all weekend just sharing things with you, might bring back some goodies for next week's show, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm very grateful to Go Go Squeeze that they are sending us, because it's gonna be so much fun. And it's really like the first time that all four of us have run together. Like my husband and the teenager, we did the Castaway Key um, 5K a couple years ago, but it was just the three of us, because the baby was, you know, just a little baby, so she couldn't run on her little baby legs <laughs> and now all she talks about is this family 5k she wanted to do it when we went on our disney cruise a couple months ago which was sadly a disaster not because of disney cruise line because they're amazing but she was sick the teenager was sick we didn't get to do the 5k so this is our chance at a do-over we're really excited about it. so i would love for you to follow along i'm going to bring back something fun for you of course um, and yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you and just share my silly sprained ankle story because if you've ever thought about doing, even if it's not a run Disney race, but if you've ever thought about doing a 5k, I'm telling you they are doable and the run Disney ones are my favorite because with the princess, there's all these characters along the way. When my teenage daughter and I did the Star Wars rival run, there's all these Star Wars characters along the way. So it's so fun to stop and take pictures. Plus. You're running through either Epcot or the Magic Kingdom. Like when we did the half marathon, we ran through Epcot and the Magic Kingdom, which was so cool kind of behind the scenes. Like I was FaceTiming my husband when I was there with my besties. It was just such a great experience. So I'm looking forward to doing this with my family because really anything I can do with my family, I love so much. So thank you for following along. And if you are in town, um, look for us. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we are just going to recreate the Mouseketeer costumes, because I'm cheap like that. <laughs> so my friend Ashley, who ran with us, she made the girls' skirts a couple years ago, Mouseketeer skirts. So no, my husband is not wearing a skirt. He's wearing red running shorts. But we're all going to have our names on the shirt. So look for us with our little hats and everything. So we're not doing princess again, but I'm kind of like, eh, we're just going to do what we want. So we're kind of like recycling some of the costumes there, because that's how I roll because I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of money on that. So hopefully I'll see you this weekend if you are doing any of the run Disney races. And that is Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, February 19th, 2020, episode 197. But before we get out of here, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee and then I'm going to give you a Chick-fil-A gift card. Woo! 
So if you would like a Chick-fil-A gift card, all you have to do is comment CFA, you know, for Chick-fil-A instead of making you write out Chick-fil-A. I mean, unless you want to write out Chick-fil-A, you can do that too. But comment CFA and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Cava Wednesday, and then one of you will randomly win this Chick-fil-A gift card. You can go get yourself some lunch or dinner or whatever. And then next week on this show, we will announce the winner of the Chick-fil-A gift card, so make sure you come back next week. And don't forget, if you're watching this on Facebook, head over to my YouTube page. You can link over at sydneysimmons.com and get yourself a bonus entry. Comment over there too. If you're watching this on YouTube, then bebop yourself over to my Facebook page and you can get one bonus entry, either or, um, whatever you're doing. So Facebook, go to YouTube, YouTube, go to Facebook, all of those, and following me on all the socials is where you can go to cindysimmons.com to do that. You can also send me an email if you would like at cindysimmons.com, but that is how to reach me and find me. I am on Instagram all of the time. I am even on TikTok also. I am Cindy Simmons. That's how you can find me on TikTok. I'm just taking little baby steps in the TikTok, mostly to mess with my teenage daughter because she's obsessed with it. Because <laughs> that's what parents do. They live for that, right? So, all right, follow me on all the socials at cindysimmons.com. Spread joy and kindness like Nutella. Thank you so much for being a part of this show. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you next week with another fun prize. I can't tell you what it is, but you're going to love it. I promise. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And I will see you next week. Bye.